Ah. What? Ah, it's just my dealer. Viagra? Antiquities. Hey, what up, sex pie? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's fashion week. All the good penthouses are gone. Oh. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm sure, I, it, yeah, it could be way better. I just don't know how. He's dying, riddled with cancer. Wrong. What, it's a funny joke. Dad's got cancer. What's not funny about that? There are some unstable personalities involved uh, with this deal. Mm, I'm Kendall, and, and I'm a say, sassy little uh, bitch. You want to abandon Honeymoon? No, I mean, no, I don't want to. You? No. Huh. I don't want to. No. Do you? Like, he just walked around the New York Stock Exchange with his severed dick in his hand, asking where it was good for free soup. I think you should fight, but, uh, you're the one who built it all. You're the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, that is adorable. You're always looking out for pops, aren't you? I think you're a super talented superstar, and I, I love you. Oh, you're such a fucking bitch. Three months ago, I was a meeting about how to stop kids giving each other handy jobs on the runaway ghost train. To replace this guy fucking dildo dipped in beard trimmings. It's ATN, man. It's the fucking news. I know. It's Logan's G spot. I can finger bang him all night long. I'm a you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna schedule some time with your dad and take him out for dinner and wine him and dine him and make love to him. He is back like a pedo on parole. I'm sorry, Nate, did you want a conference call to discuss how to tell your wife we fucked? Being patronized elsewhere by latte sipping douchebags with hundred dollar haircuts. The thing I need storage for most urgently of all, Stanley, is me. You should try swallowing something. Metro poser bullshit. Napkins and chit chat. Ooh, race relations. Kale. So also, some of your acquaintances are maybe humping in my bedroom. I swear to God, Dad, if you bring him back, I am walking. Back to my office to salt. Fuck. Ding dong. Who's there? Oh, Uncle Sam. And where's his hand? In my pants. I kill Kendall. I'm crowned the king. Just like in Hamlet. If that happens in Hamlet, I don't care. I can't believe I'm on a private plane. It's like I'm in a band. Very white, very wealthy band. Is there anybody you haven't fucked? You. Hey, Greg, it's good to see you, man. You're spending so much time hanging out with Kendall, a girl can start to wonder. You can do whatever the fuck he likes. He's like a human Saudi Arabia. No one goes sniffing around my fucking panties. I have a better, more powerful dick than you. And he does treat family differently. Yeah. No, sure. Although, he did once call me the cunt of Monte Cristo. What's in the smoothie? Burgundy. I hate to be a party pooper, but I have poop. Hmm? What the fuck is his obsession with milk? You know who drinks milk? Kittens and perverts. That's where heroes are born, Tom, on the battlefield. It's also commonly where they're killed, Jerry. It's my fucking 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 Sorry if uh, last night got a little bit fruity. You know, if I were capable of any sudden movement, I would totally pounce on you right now. Uh, yeah? Yep. I actually hear that a lot, usually from men in their 90s. It's like you and your dad have finally admitted how much you're into each other. You know? Now you can, you know, not this, but now you can bang. In one of the most dynamic news and entertainment companies in the world. Feel it. Waste our diversity and harassment policy. Like Mary Poppins with a heart on. Let's uh, get hammered and buy a mining company in Tanzania. I said, Gobbledy, go fuck yourself. It's Kendall. What is he huffing sharpies again? Shoplifting. Is stealing? Stealing what? Candy and vape fluid. Have you ever read Mein Kampf? Um. Yeah, a couple times, I guess. A couple times? Are there Easter eggs in there you didn't get the first time? Just be brave, okay? Yes, mommy. Excuse me, excuse me. Wait, what? Excuse me, executives coming through! I'm so sorry for your loss, Maria. You know, I never met Mo, but I heard that he was just a great guy. Um, Mo? Your husband? We're so sorry. His name's not Mo. 
What do you call him Mo? His name's Lester. Wait, so why does everyone call him His Mo? His real name is Lester. It, it was, I guess I haven't thought about it for a while, but it was kind of a joke. Like, what? Mo Lester. We're what? safe here. What? How is it safe? Calm it's down. It's just a room. Hey, if you want to print something in your little book, you may print the following line. Connor Roy was interested in politics at a very young age. And the, a person can fit through there. A person can definitely fit through that window. A small person, an attack child. A nice church, don't you think? I'll tell you what a nice church it is. Connor Roy was interested in politics from a very young age. OK. You know, you're not doing yourself any favors by refusing to talk. Interesting point, to which I would add, Connor Roy was interested in politics from a very young age. It, it could be like, like a business open relationship. This is not a good feeling, Greg, that you're making me have, you know? Can you stop crunching? Sure. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, Tom. Hey, hey, Tom, Tom. We're good. We're good. We're good? We're good! Because it doesn't feel fucking good, Greg! Let's just, can we... I will not let you do this to me! I will not let go of what is mine! What, 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 what am I doing? Ow! Stop pumping! I'm gonna... Stop! Fuck! Stop! Fuck! Stop! Security! Uh, uh, guys, no, you back off! You back off! This is executive level business, okay? No! Stop, Tom! We're friends! You're one of my best friends! Hey, baby, how about this for the eulogy? Ooh. Lester touched all of us. Hail, my fellow toilermen. I have returned from real America, bearing the gift of sight. How was summer camp? Hmm? What's that? I didn't catch that. I've been down in the salt mines so long with my fellow Johnny Lunch Pails, I no longer speak 1%. Like, mention those to you now? Are you asking if you can blackmail me? No, I'm not. I, I would I, I would hate that. I like you. It's just, you know, context. Very well. I accept your blackmail. No, I'm not blackmailing. But you don't. are, though, no. you piece of shit. And when a man dies, it is sad. All of us will die one day. In this case, it is Lester who has done so. Lester was alive for 78 years, but no more. Now he is dead. Lester's wife is Maria. They were married for 15 years. Now she is sad. <laughs> but what if your wider cultural interest is hate jerking to Instagram, just asking for a friend? Oh, me. Me, she's talking about me. Because you don't really hear much about syphilis these days. Very much the, uh, the, the MySpace of STDs. I'm thinking of no socking it, rocking some horny ankle cleavage. Ooh. Nice vest, Wamsgans. It's so puffy. Thank you, Roman. Was it stuffed with your hopes and dreams? We are listening. Yeah, but it's just to like maximize the user experience. But if that was to break, oh, maybe. Oh fuck! So yeah. So uh, the question is: Is it a smart thing for you to be saying we're listening when you, when we are indeed listening? Why was I not aware of this? Well, it's basically legal. The guy said. But he didn't want to put that in an email, so... so what am I going to call it now? I don't know. Maybe uh, uh, they suggested we hear you. Is that any better? We tested this, Greg! Hot damn! With Edward and his loafers made from the skin of, I don't know, what is that, human rights activist? So maybe it's like, ATN, we are here for you, and here spelled H-E-A-R. We're here for you? That's just gibberish. We here for you. Okay, we here for you. So that might be like, we, we, we here for you, man, because you don't need to hear we here. Yeah, we here. also, also, we here for you. We're here for you. Is that, yeah, that we're your guys. Sense? It's good because it's like, it's not clear exactly what the hell it means. Where's the link? Why did no one send me the link? Just fucking Google it. Google what? I don't know what we did. Uh, Bright Star roller coaster rape. Sorry, hey, hey, uh, big fan uh, of, of all your money. It's important to remember two fundamental things about the news. One, it's new. You doing the old cocaine? 
What up, sis? Hey. <laughs> Mega dump on a line? It's difficult. Oh, it's difficult. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Would you like a hand job or an Advil? Are you aware of any document destruction which might hinder our inquiries? I, I think, um, you know what, I, you know what, I just, I've just realized we're going to be here for a while, and I want to give you uh, my best attention, but I really need to be. Uh, well, we'd rather you stayed here. I've got this pathetically weak bladder. I'm like an old woman who's had a baby somehow. Uh, you know, I, I uh, got a haircut, uh, even though I didn't really need a haircut. I think I just right. wanted someone to touch my head, you know, soothing. Do you know nothing of the company you're supposed to be taking over? You know, Waystar, Waystar Royco? We do hate speech and roller coasters. Secret, Greg? Yeah. But not top secret. Interesting. Just secret, that's smart. Just so people know, you know, that these are secret. They're secret, yeah. I don't know, because sometimes the janitors, they come and they throw stuff out. And, uh, but th look, the, the actual envelope says receipts. Ooh, but they're not, in fact, receipts. Oh, <gasps> crack. You're a criminal mastermind. You have a fun night, Dad? What the fuck does that mean? Male rape. R rape of the male. What up, Pricklicks? It's me, Dr. Moron. I'm a ding-dong doodlebug dipshit with a tit mouse dick, and my dad hates all of you. Fucky go bye-bye. Sometimes I think I'll never truly understand Dad until I shit outside. Wow, well done. Look at you fitting right in. Like a camp counselor in my butt when I was 12. Well, you really went with the first draft on that one. Oh my God, you smell like cotton candy. I almost want to lick your neck. They're asking if you want to stay for lunch. Fuck no. Be sure to feed that back to them. Fuck no. God. Slicker than cum on a dolphin's back. Is he about to strip? Just remember I think he's I'm going to masturbate on stage to a photo of Dad. My boy Squiggle cooked up this beat for me. What's up with dip here? Logan Roy School of Journalism. What's next? The Jack the Ripper Women's Health Clinic? L to the L to the You need to stop this. Wrong. Yeah, in case you want it in writing. Maybe, you know, you should. I got you a present. We, actually, got you a present. We bought the hearts. Be right now. Logan, happy anniversary. Hearts? I remember mm -hmm. my first day working with you. Hearts Football Club? Mm hmm? Why? Why? Because it's the hearts. It's your team. I'm hips. Your hips? Oh. Really? Oh. Are you sure? No, I mean, my grandpa changes his mind a lot, so it's not final. And plus, um, he's so sturdy. Like, who knows how long I might have to wait. Go hard. Go fast. Go, you lovely bastards. Just let the training kick in. And maybe just try to enjoy it. Yeah, thanks, Greg. Thanks. Mary for kill the executive floor. Executive floor? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, kill Ray. Of course. Fuck Elsa. Hmm. Marry Jerry. Jerry? <laughs> marry Jerry. Uh, There's a small pool. You'd marry Jerry, <laughs> you sick fuck. Jerry? <laughs> yeah. You like Jerry? Do you know what is special about the hours between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. on the night of March 12th? Uh, no, sir. That was the only two-hour period in which you did not send an email to Mr. Hirsch with the title, You Can't Make a Tomlet Without Breaking Some Greggs. You sent the same email to him 67 times in one evening. Full disclosure. Yeah? I am um, currently having a panic attack. And I would hate for you um, to make fools of yourselves. Says the person whose husband was just called a smirking block of domestic feta by the Atlantic. Let's get the surrogates prepped with that line. They call Gil meth head Santa because he so rarely delivers. Executive assistant to Tom Wamsgans, correct? Yes. <clears throat> yes, if, if it is to be said. I'm sorry? Uh, if it is to be said, so it be, so it is. Slippery cunt. Uh, I merely wish to answer in the affirmative fashion. You can speak to us normally. Okay. No, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, so I shall. Just ignore the headline, okay? Disregard that because. Ah! Uh, and what if what if your toenails are not all that aesthetically pleasing? Oh yeah, yeah. You know they raped me a little, but I'm no hero. Parentheses. I'm an incredible hero. Hey, Carl sounds good. Mm -hmm. Sausage thief. You know Jerry. 
I just didn't trust them in the end. I can't explain why. Because you're a bit racist? I didn't think so, but there's always that possibility. Talk about okay. the big shit. Roman, we're real people. You are not. You claim to be real, but look at you. Look at you. Good morning, sir. May I offer you something to drink? I will take a full bottle of Burgundy. Certainly. Please, thank you. For breakfast, good. Then how about Tom with some fucking Greg Sprinkles? What? Greg Sprinkles? Yeah, just a party pack. He was a sweetener. Yeah. I will come it to you at not night with a fucking razor a, blade, yeah. and I will cut your fucking, fucking dick, dick off, off, and I will feed and it. And then push it up your cunt until poo poo pops out of my nose hole. I, I mean, who cares? I'm more than a sprinkle. <laughs> You okay, Tom? What the fuck? Thank you, Robin. Tom? Thank you for the chicken. <laughs>